Okay, so there's a lot of confusion out there. Um, a lot of these small business blogs that are actually large publications like uh, Small Business Daily, uh, Fit Small Business, and all this other stuff, uh, their recommendations that are written by editors for small businesses on how to choose a good domain name. Um, in your experience, what really matters when it comes to you know a local business or a small business startup? Picking a domain name that's going to work for them as far as uh, future marketing, getting clients, uh, a good a good blend of you know brandability versus stuffing it with keywords and we've got other people that say they should get a .org instead of a .com and all of this. What's your take on that and how can how can business owners pick the best domain name for them? Um, obviously if you can get your company name .com then you know the story's over right but um, you it's a lot of domain real estate out there now that's getting eaten up, so you can't always get your company name without getting in litigations and things like that. .net is strong, .org is strong, uh, if you are an organization, um, those, those kind of things. I'm a fan of .com, obviously, uh, it holds more weight than any of the others, um, but that's, I mean, that's, that's kind of the way to go. Now, as far as keyword stuffing, uh, for example, uh, you you want to put your location in the name in the domain. Uh, it's perfectly fine as well. If you can't get your your actual company name, you can do that. Um, you just have to be careful because you don't want to uh, you don't want to lock yourself down to a, one small little area of your of your location when you could you may do the whole state. You know that kind of thing. Gotcha. And what about all these, you know, the last time I signed into GoDaddy, <laughs> uh, I got all these notifications, you know, that I could get my domain in a, uh, geez, there was like 10 or 15 of them, a, a .co, a .biz, yeah. um, I think it was like a .china or something like that. <laughs> oh, <do> that <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what's your take on all these crazy extensions and should a business register all of these? Uh, no. I think it's a simple answer. Uh, I think it's a waste of money. It's a marketing scheme. It's a way for the, the register to make that extra uh, coin. The, the .co is okay, .com, obviously, like I said. Uh, the infos, orgs, all those are, are uh, they're fine. Um, you start getting the XYZ and all these other extensions in China, like you said, and all that. Uh, I mean, they, they come and go. You know, they're, they're not going to hold weight. Gotcha. And so, in your opinion, if somebody can't get you know, like let's just say my, you know, company name was Justice Enterprises. If I couldn't get justiceenterprises.com, you know, should I come up with a variation of that and stick with the .com, or should I just get, you know, justiceenterprises.info? Um, you could pick up the info and maybe do a redirect, but I would I would suggest kind of playing around with the uh, the words and, and see what you can see what else you can find or come up with that still sticks to your brand. So always try to stick with the .com for the primary. Com, net, you know, those are probably the two, the one and two. Okay. Uh, if you can. And don't waste money on all these other crazy, because GoDaddy makes it sound like if we don't register, you know, our brand name and all these extensions, and I think they even specifically send out emails that say, you know, secure your name and da 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 da, -da before a competitor takes it or something like that. I mean, yeah, back back in the day when we had a bunch of domains and we, we used to run with them and stuff, um, I had one that I bought as a uh, .com. I thought it was a snazzy little name, and uh, I was doing travel stuff with it. Um, somebody, the the somebody interested in it owned the the same name, but an info, a net. Uh, uh, org and something else and he actually was doing something really cool with the name and I was just playing around didn't even know he existed and then he emailed me saying hey he wanted to buy it um, so ultimately I won because I own the dot com the dot com holds the weight you want to own the dot com so that start there and then if you have to you know work with a dot net or something to that effect well, but those are my one and twos I think that's the case closed, Your Honor. <laughs> I don't think we have any questions after that. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.